Lyft LMS has this cool feature where you can drip lessons out to your users. I've set up a drip date of tomorrow on this third lesson right here, and you'll see if we go try to look at the lesson, we're met with some replacement text that says the content's restricted. Your users won't actually be able to see this, so if you check out the page as a student or a visitor, you'll see that you get kicked out back to the course page. Um, now, maybe you want to replace all of that with some, with like a countdown timer or something that tells your users when the lesson will be available, or maybe like a little preview of the lesson. Um, by default, you won't be able to do that because they don't have access to the page itself. So we can actually change that if you go over to the Lifter Elements settings under Settings, Lifter Elements, and then go up here and click Settings tab. And there's a checkbox here that if you check it and click Save, um, your users will be able to view any uh, lesson page with a drip date in the future. Now, uh, again, by default, all of the widgets will be replaced by that little replacement text right here. But what we can do is we can actually conditionally hide these and show something else like a countdown timer. So we'll do that right now by going over here to the lesson template in the theme builder. And we have some settings specifically for this purpose in the conditional logic panel. So if you edit any widget and go over here to the advanced section, there is a conditional logic settings panel here. And if you open that, you'll see that we have some things for you to choose from. And what we're interested in here is the lesson drip date um, condition. So it's also important to note that this is for showing things and not hiding things. So if this rule is true, the widget will be shown. So lesson drip date for the current lesson is in the past, the widget will be shown. And then if it's in the future and if it's restricted, the widget will be hidden. So we're gonna save that. If you want to keep the widget shown and actually just replace that uh, text that you see with something else, you can do that in the content section here of the widget under lesson drip restriction content to show. So right now you can see it's displaying this uh, content restricted message, you could alternatively just replace that with uh, nothing or you could replace it with a dynamic tag. Um, we have some dynamic tags here for lesson drip days, hours, minutes, seconds, and a countdown. Um, but we're going to be using those a little later in a different way. So we're going to just hide all of these right here. Uh, and we'll go to advanced conditional logic. And we'll say lesson drip date for current lesson is, is passed. Then we'll show it and same deal for, oh, I didn't mean to drag that. Well, well, we'll leave it there, but we'll do the same thing with this one. All right, and we'll save that and update our template. And then when we go check the template out on the course itself, you'll see that all of those widgets are shown for the lessons that we have access to. So we see the video. We don't see those other ones because there is no content uh, or audio for this particular lesson. So those are automatically hidden. But if we go to the next lesson, you'll see that it's just completely empty. There's nothing uh, that that message that we saw before for each of those widgets is gone because the widget themselves are being hidden. So what we're going to do is instead of just keeping this blank, we're just going to add a text box. And we'll do text editor, and you can pretty much add it anywhere since everything's hidden anyways. And what we'll say is lesson available in, and then we're going to make that white so that you can see it against the blue background. And then we're going to add another text box here, text editor, that instead of uh, typing something, we're going to go over here to the dynamic tags and choose the countdown option, um, this lesson drip countdown. And this is gonna just display uh, a countdown timer for when the lesson's available. Um, and you can alternatively just use like a certain number of days or hours. Um, and if you do that, just keep in mind that uh, there's a little wrench over here. And if you click that, um, you can round the day. So uh, let's say it's under 24 hours, it'll display zero days until uh, your lesson's available, but um, you still don't have access to the lesson because there's a couple hours left. So you can round it up if you click this to one day. 
um, so that's not confusing. And you can also choose whether or not you want to display it for the current lesson or the next lesson. So you can display it on the previous page, uh, maybe in, in replacement of the next lesson button. You could display a little countdown for when that lesson is available. Uh, so instead of drip days, we're going to just do the countdown timer. And then we'll also make that one white. And we'll click update and we'll go check out if that worked. If we click reload, we should see the replacement of the countdown timer. Nice. What we can also do is um, this is going to show up on all lessons. Probably not the countdown timer, but this will uh, show up on all lessons. So if I just go to the previous lesson here, um, you'll see that that is showing up here because it doesn't have any conditional logic applied to it. Um, so what we can do is we can go back uh, to our template and we're just going to go to the advanced section and do the same thing with these, but we'll do the opposite. So we're only going to show this if the lesson droop date for the current lesson is in the future. And we'll do that for this too, even though it gets automatically hidden just to be clean. And we're going to say in the future and click save. And then when we update and go check out our courses, we have sorry lessons that we have access to that should be uh, yeah, that should disappear. But when we go to the one that we don't have access to, it'll it'll show up. So as you can see, those conditional logic settings are really powerful. Um, you can do a lot of things with your layouts um, if you have lessons being dripped out to your users.